So the first card that is fallen is We Are the World, and this is, um, you know, the Ten of Pentacles. And so this is the end of a cycle that you've been through. So maybe you've, uh, you know, uh, come through a, a relationship that has uh, come seen uh, its course uh, because with the Ten of Pentacles it's usually about family uh, situations that have ended. So you might have come through a divorce or you might have come through a separation uh, where whatever family situation you were involved in seems to have finally come to an end um, and you know you have moved on. So that's the end of that cycle. You are trying to get your balance back. This is the temperance card over here. You're trying to bring in a uh, change. Um, you know, you're trying to um, get to grips with whatever happened. Maybe you're trying to deal with this ending of this uh, relationship that you went through and trying to get your focus and your balance back again. You've got that yin-yang card again. So it seems like you're trying to get your energies in order again. You've got the change card over here, which is the wheel of fortune. So things are about to change for you. And, uh, you know, a new cycle is about to begin. So the change card or the the, the um, Wheel of Fortune is a 10, and 10s are the endings of things, and you've got two 10s over here. So this is showing that, you know, whatever a relationship that you had, which was very stable for a long time, um, you know, you may, you may have been financially dependent on the person that you were with, that has come to an end, and it looks like a big change is about to come. And you are trying to sort yourself out, trying to get that uh, balance right back in your life again with this Temperance card. So in the... Uh, What's happened in the past? You've got clinging to the past over here. So you've got the five of cups, uh, you know, and this is trying, just feeling very despondent and feeling a bit miserable and, uh, you know, crying over things that you have lost uh, in the past. And this is really trying to cling to the past, trying to hang on to those emotions or those feelings that you had or remembering uh, getting stuck too much in that past. That's been going on. You've got the awareness card over here. So this is the, um, you know, the hangman usually. And um, this is about, you. things are coming to light for you. You know, you are seeing things now from a very different perspective after having gone through this breakup that you went through. So whatever the situation was that ended, this could have been, you know, a, a divorce. It seems like, you know, things are a bit stuck right now, but because they are uh, things are not moving you are now able to review the situation that happened maybe you are doing a lot of past review you're going through whatever you went through in the past you're reliving it and you're you're looking at all the sacrifices that you made and you're seeing things from a very, very different point of view. And, you know, something else is emerging from uh, all these lessons that you learned. A new person is coming out. You can see there's a new um, uh, idea coming out into your head. Uh, you know, you are now um, envisioning uh, the future from a very, very different perspective. So going into the future, you've got the master and you've got the ripeness. So you, it looks like, you know, you are going to be able to conquer uh, this situation. Uh, whatever is coming out, you have learned a lot of lessons. Uh, and it's made you, uh, you know, um, somebody that people can turn to for advice uh, from. And, you know, you, can, um, you know exactly what is going on. So you've taken control of that situation, but you've also emerged as somebody who is very knowledgeable and somebody who can give advice uh, to other people and can help other people through difficult situations. So very much like a counselor, um, you know, very much a person whom other people can rely on. And uh, you are very empathetic now. You have been through all this, um, these difficulties. Then you've got the uh, um, ripeness card, which is the nine of pentacles. And this is showing that, you know, uh, you have... A cycle has come to an end. You've got the end of a, uh, of a moon over here. But you have acquired a lot of, um, you know, knowledge. Um, and you have um, attained your independence. So you are, um, you know, you have risen above that uh, situation. With the Nine of the Pentacles, a lot of people are admiring you for having been through such a difficult situation. And have, has, you know, you've come out of it very victorious, very independent. And, uh, you know, these pe a lot of people have um, a lot of admiration for that, uh, how you've managed to, um, uh, you know, sort out that situation. The Nine of Pentacles is also about, you know, you've achieved your material wealth. So you are financially independent. Uh, you know, you are enjoying 
uh, the fruits of all your labors and you have done this you're self-made right now and this has got a lot of people of uh, you know in great admiration for you so this is uh, coming out um you know this is going to the future this is how people are seeing you uh, as somebody that they can turn to for help and advice and somebody who has managed to conquer and get through a very very difficult situation and is very very independent as well so you've ended a lot of cycles there's big change coming in but what is emerging is somebody who is now becoming almost like a guru a teacher uh, somebody that who's uh, taking on that leadership role as well so those are the energies for that uh, those two weeks so this is the art nouveau tarot i'm just going to do the uh, main read of that So at the bottom of the deck, you've got uh, the three of cups over here. So this is what you want. It looks like, you know, you do want that family situation. Maybe you want to have children. You want a really good relationship. And you want a really giving and sharing relationship. Uh, so uh, this is the energies that you're working towards. You're working, you're trying to attract this kind of relationship into your life right now. So what's happening with you? You are still feeling, um, you know extremely negative you might be involved in a relationship right now um and the person that you're involved with uh might have you know it might be a, quite a toxic relationship um you know you you want equal um power with this person you can see both of these people holding this rod um but the person that you might be involved with there might be a bit of a power struggle you can see almost they're almost fighting over this rod if you like so it looks like there is some kind of power struggle going on with that within that relationship and since it's got the devil card over here this person might be very uh, dominating or being very manipulative very controlling so you might be in that kind of relationship where somebody's trying to take your personal power trying to control everything that you say and do and uh, you know there's this power struggle going on between you and this person you want um, you know a family life that is uh, very very stable and very very happy and maybe you want to have children as well but the person that you seem to be involved in seems to be very very controlling so in the past, you've got this lover's card over here. Now, it seems like this relationship has been going through a bit of problems. Uh, you know, maybe the initial, uh, you know, where you're both very, very happy and very, very infatuated with each other seems to have changed. Uh, both of you seems to have different ideas or views about what you want. You can see both these people are looking at different things in different directions. So, you know, um, maybe that relationship has been purely based on a physical uh, nature so it might have been very sexually based and uh, maybe it doesn't um, ha um, hold up or it doesn't stand up to a rich emotional uh, relationship because both of you are now thinking about doing something else so there's some kind of choice that is coming in about whether or not you should stay in this particular relationship and that's happened in the last year or so now you've got the fool over here it seems like you know you want um, you've made a choice and you want to start something brand new over here uh, or go down a different direction um, you want this relationship uh, to move off uh, or you want to start a brand new relationship and it seems like in the last few months this is what you've been making uh, plans to do so you want to start something brand new and you want to go off on, a, on your own um, or do something uh, for yourself so you've been thinking about it quite a bit. Uh, you're thinking about ending this relationship uh, because both of you are not seeing eye to eye maybe or maybe you don't have the same goals that you used to have. I mean, you want a family and maybe this person doesn't and maybe this person is very dominating and there's a lot of power play issues going on over here. So you want to end this relationship, uh, cut it out and move on. You want to make um, a permanent change you want to permanently uh you know delete it from your life if you like because you can see this person's cutting off all these flowers this uh death is cutting out the flowers so you you feel that uh, you know it's not going anywhere and you want to really end this relationship so going into the future you've got the nine of pentacles over here it looks like uh, you know you want to focus on yourself um you can see this woman's back's turned to this man over here so and she's you know got this 
a pentacle in her hand. So it seems like you want to turn your back on this relationship. Even maybe the person that you're with doesn't really want to end the relationship, but it seems like you do. And you want to focus more on your work, focus on your career and focus on uh, trying to, um, you know, establish yourself on, in a financial basis or, finan uh, you know, um, try to uh, establish your own material wealth, if you like, uh, without the aid of this person. So it doesn't seem like you want to work together with this person uh, or you don't want to be in this relationship with this person anymore. You want to focus on your work and you want to be independent of this person. Now, what's happening over here? This is the Seven of Pentacles, and it seems like um, maybe you knew this person or you met this person in a work scenario. Maybe you worked together with each other. But it seems like you're the one that has been doing most of the work in this, or this is how you feel, that you put in a lot of effort into this uh, relationship, and there was, you know, you've invested time and effort into the relationship, and it didn't pay off. You're not getting the rewards. You're not getting what you want out of this relationship. Uh, you know, you expected to get much more, and maybe what if this person is not fulfilling uh, emotional needs for you. And what's happening around you? Uh, you're very, very upset about uh, what's going on around you. There might be somebody else that you're interested in as well. Maybe somebody else that you work with that you're interested. In. And maybe this person is, uh, you know, uh, giving you that shoulder to cry or cry on or being more supportive than the relationship that you are currently in. So you've got that six of pentacles, somebody else giving you that uh, emotional help or uh, emotional support. And, you know, it seems like whatever this relationship that you're in, you're very, very unhappy. And you can see this woman's crying about it. And it seems like you don't want to work on this relationship anymore. You want to move on. You've got the two of um swords over here so there might be a lot of arguing and bickering going on between you and the person that you're involved with presently you got you can see them both fighting over the sword as well so there seems to be a lot of power issues going on maybe you'll work together and this is why you all are not getting along together on uh you know a personal level um there seems to be a lot of um you know who's in charge issues going on and who gets the last word in so a lot of arguments going on over here and a lot of problems going on and it seems like you want to get away from that kind of scenario so going into the future you've got the page of swords over here uh the ten of swords and the knight of cups so if you are in a, a legal kind of relationship with this person um you know it seems like you want to end it you, you want to have a divorce from this person or you want to separate from this person, you want to end that commitment. You feel that this person that you're with, um, you know, is sneaky. Uh, you know, maybe they lie to you or they're a bit deceptive because you've got that page of swords over here. And, you know, you're proceeding pretty cautiously about it because you don't trust them. So there's trust issues going on over here. And it looks like you're going to end that particular scenario. Maybe you're having a lot of fights uh, because you've got the Ten of Swords, you feel like you've been betrayed or that this person is betraying you and you um, it looks like you're going to walk away completely from that situation and completely end it with this Ten of Swords over here. And it looks like once you do that, a new offer comes in with this Knight of Cups. It's, uh, you know, since it's a Cups card, it is much more emotionally in tune with you and it's something that you want You will you know, so it looks like you want to end that old relationship because of all the problems that are going on because of the lies and deceit. Uh, maybe this person um, is very overbearing. They might be spying on you as well. And this is the reason why you can't, um, you know, take it anymore. And you want to end that relationship completely with that Ten of Swords and maybe accept an offer or start off a relationship with somebody who is more emotionally uh, suited to you. And it looks like that offer is going to come in with this Knight of Cups as well. Okay, so um, I'm just going to draw some cards from the Archangel Power Tarot. Right, so you have the Ten of Michael, which is just as, you know, which is the Ten of Swords, which is here. You've got it displayed as well in the main read. A situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. So it looks like you're going to end this relationship. So it's, it's a probably reaches a point where you know you can't resurrect it there's too much of arguments there's too much of fights you've got a lot of swords going on and there's betrayal that's probably happened and it seems like you're going to end this relationship and move on completely um to something new and then immediately afterwards you've got the king of Raphael, which is the same as the king of cups 
And so, yes, it is safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once and follow your, your creative passions. So the king of Raphael is, um, you know, uh, you know, this, a similar, well, this is the Knight of Cups, but the King of Cups coming in for you here. So it looks like immediately after this 10 of uh, Michael, which is uh, the same as this 10 of Swords, then you've got the Knight of Cups over here. You've got the King of Raphael coming in. So it looks like there might be somebody coming in for you. It could be a water sign person. It could be Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces um, energy coming in. But there looks like there's some kind of offer coming in for you. And this person is much more emotionally in tune with you and somebody that you are going to accept this offer from. And it looks like, you know, you're going to start all over again and you're going to be much happier. And this person is very trustworthy, uh, but they're also somebody that is very creative and somebody that you can relate to on an emotional level. So there's an offer coming in with that Knight of Cups and it looks like it might be a water sign person with this King of Raphael, but definitely emotionally um, in tune with you. Then you've got the 10 of Raphael over here, and it looks like things are going to be very, very good. So uh, whoever this person is that comes in, this King of Raphael, or this uh, very, very emotionally uh, fulfilling energy that comes in, brings in a very harmonious relationship. So love and blessings for your life, harmonious relationships with family members, happily ever after. So this could be, uh, you know, ending in a marriage, uh, a long-term relationship or committed relationship as well. So somebody coming in for you uh, immediately after you've ended this particular uh, relationship that you are in because it's a very unha unhealthy relationship because there's a lot of power play going on a lot of power struggles but immediately after that it looks like uh, you know somebody is bringing an offer in for you a very very good offer and it looks like it's going to end up in some kind of committed relationship and you know you're going to get over a lot of problems and you're going to be very very happy because there's love and blessings coming in. So it's a really good ending. Uh, maybe this uh, difficult relationship is something that you had to go through in order to open the door for this person uh, whom you relate to, somebody who you're much more in tune with, to come in and offer you what you need. You, it looks like you are looking for that kind of family situation, that kind of commitment, and it seems like you're going to get it um, You know, with this person bringing in this offer for you. It seems like there's something long-term coming in that's going to make you very, very happy. So I hope this reading has resonated with you and please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.